Lego released the dynamite set? Wait, what's BTS? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. This is the dynamite set I was hoping for. So in case you don't know, back in 2021, images leaked of a planned Lego set called the Kirk's Hideout Raid. You can see it here with other Lego City sets for that year. But it was canceled unexpectedly and Lego released a statement saying, we have decided not to launch this product as we no longer feel it is keeping with the values of the Lego City brand. Now Lego releases numerous police sets with Kirk's every year. So a lot of people online surmise that it probably has to do with the building being a dynamite factory. But I'm not so sure about that. First, Lego has included dynamite in 113 sets over the last 15 years. But more importantly, this set is actually based on an episode of the LEGO City Adventures TV show. Season 3, Episode 8, Business is Booming, features Daisy Kaboom, who is a reoccurring character. She's even been in a set the year before and the year after this cancelled one. In the episode, she buys a dynamite factory for her Kaboom It business and proceeds to Kaboom things all across the city. Now this TV show is made for kids, so I don't think the dynamite aspect is what got this set cancelled. Maybe the cancellation had to do with the police raiding the building, or maybe they just scrapped it because they didn't want to finish it. I mean, there are a few unreleased pieces and colors in this set, but if that's the case, then they just lied to us and that's not cool. Despite the reason, Lego canceled the set, which meant it was up to me to recreate it. I'm on it, go! As you can see from my box art, you have the main dynamite factory building, which includes a few play features, along with a small red car, and a large police SUV. And yeah, it does come with some overpriced road plates. You might have noticed that I left out the helicopter that was supposed to be in the set. I actually spent a decent amount of time designing it, but it has these dual counter-rotating blades, and I just couldn't figure out a compact way to make that work. For all I know, LEGO had a new prototype piece that implemented this feature. But eventually, I realized that probably no one wanted the helicopter anyway, and would just be looking for the factory. So, I nixed it. The car is a small, four stud wide convertible that looks pretty fun. I might actually get the parts and build this one because I really like it. Next we have the large police SUV. It sits up high and has some room in the back for additional minifigs. You could either use it to transport more cops to the raid, or you could throw in the crooks afterwards and take them back to the station. It sports the new neon yellow color, which I don't even think was released until the following year. It also has a large front bumper, and we'll see why here shortly. And now to the main attraction. You can see the dynamite factory is dark red and light gray, and has two floors with a tall garage. It also includes a water tower on the right, and a large, comic-sized stick of dynamite for the sign. It looks like LEGO was going to recolor the half cylinder piece in red, but they never did that, so I had to use some round bricks instead. I also remade the graphic on the left so it can be printed as a sticker, which is Daisy Kaboom's logo on a spray painted background. All in all, a great incognito place for crooks to hide. The main feature of the set is the breakaway front wall that you can knock down with the cop car. It's on hinges and flops over into the interior. The garage door includes another feature. I wasn't entirely sure how it was in the proposed set, as it doesn't look like a typical roll-up one, because there are some pieces in the way and it would have to be deeper than the rest of the set. So instead, I just made it a rotating one. All you have to do is rotate the Shady Lane street sign and the door flips up inside, allowing for a quick hiding spot. Because the play features need room, the inside is a little bare on the first floor. But I did include a crate for a piece of dynamite, and there's a ladder to go upstairs. In the show, Daisy has furniture and whatnot, but space is limited, so I just added a set of drawers, a couple of boxes, and a big crate with lots of dynamite in it. Another play feature is the water tower. It's on a forklift roll cage piece and is hinged at the front, so naturally it was meant to be tipped over. Not sure how LEGO is going to do it, but my design has the top loosely resting on the bottom half so that it stays in place. And then when you tip it over, the translucent blue bricks act as water and go flying with the top. Now it's not a LEGO set without some minifigs. Obviously, we need Daisy Kaboom. This is the one from the police station set the year prior and sports that awesome bomb logo on her backside. Next is Vito, who is seen poking out of the window and was in the TV episode. He's from the highway arrest set from the previous year. Next we can see Big Betty in the little car, and was also in the previous year's Monster Truck High set. And there's another generic looking crook on the roof with a mustache. At least, he doesn't look like Hacksaw or Frankie to me. Pretty much every police set has the standard Duke Detain minifig, and I also threw in Tom Bennett, who makes an appearance in the episode. I'm not sure if he was going to be in the set, but I thought he'd be good to include since I took out the helicopter which had a pilot and a guy repelling from it. Lastly, there's a generic officer walking the dog. She's from the police prisoner transport set and has a great scared face. Also, that dog harness piece was never released in black. So that's my rendition of the cancelled LEGO Dynamite set. If you're interested in it, I made instructions on Rubrickable and I'll leave the link down below for you. But remember, it's a dynamite factory. Have fun.